Yellowstone woke up to what has to be the worst crime in the National Park's history. We're talking about a confessed murderer here, one who showed no remorse, no regret. Yeah, I'm going to tell you everything that happened. I'm going to tell you once, OK? An unusual case, and families are understandably shocked with the judge's decision. Imagine a murderer being allowed to walk the streets as a free man. But that's exactly what took place here today. The first victim was by the fire, and the second one, I don't know, maybe 10 feet from it. There was an incredible amount of anger. It took a, it took a while for uh, grief to set in. I just really can't understand how a man could commit all these horrific crimes and then just talk about it like he's reciting the details of a traffic violation. The loophole was brought up to me almost exactly 24 hours before he we went to the hearing. This crime could not and cannot be tried. We had a murder weapon, we had fingerprints, security footage, and a population screaming for justice. That's it, you got everything you have done, How could somebody that was part of our community have gone so wrong? Shut your camera. Hey, man. Listen. Hey, 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 buddy. Hey. 